it's time to take a look inside the headlines. And on USA Today, we begin with their front cover story on nuclear waste, the headline Danger Zones. The storage of nuclear waste is the issue. Plants all over the country are being closed as nuclear power lines go offline. But the experts are saying the danger of an accident may be higher with the plants closed because of storage issues over that nuclear waste. Minnesota Lynx get going on their season opener on Sunday afternoon at Target Center. And Jace Frederick in the Pie Press is writing about kind of the weird season for the Lynx. There's a World Cup in September, so the WNBA is cramming the whole season in before September 22nd, so the Lynx only have 10 practices throughout this year's schedule. They'll have lots of games, which I think will be fun. Sometimes it feels like there was a long time in between Lynx games, so looking forward to that. I have been thinking a lot over the last day about how longtime Twin Cities newspaper columnist Nick Coleman would have written his own obituary. He is front page news in both papers today. Nick worked for both papers. James Walsh in the Strib writes, Nick Coleman, an ornery, poetic, fearless former columnist for the Star Tribune and Pioneer Press, died on Wednesday. Nick's brother is the former mayor of St. Paul, Chris Coleman. He loved St. Paul. He loved Irish Fest and his family, his kids. Nick wrote for the Pioneer Press first. Mary Devine wrote the obituary on the front page of that paper about how ferocious Nick was on taking on power and standing up for the little guy. Nick and I have uh, talked a fair amount over the years. Uh, I was looking back through old Twitter messages when he asked me to visit his kid's school years ago to read. He was a great dad. He was a pain in the butt, uh, but he will be missed. New York Times is profiling an 18-year-old Baltimore woman who may be the next big thing in indie rock. She goes by the name Snail Mail. Her name is Lindsay Jordan. New York Times saying that she evokes Liz Fair. She's been playing guitar since she was five, practicing two hours a day. So interesting profile. Watch for Snail Mail's album. It is called Lush, coming out in the coming weeks. And remember, you heard about it here first. Thursday is food day in our local papers. And Jess Fleming in the Pie Press is focusing on Woodbury. Lots of great spots to go check out in Woodbury now. She writes about Sole Mio, Ramen Station, uh, Tan Truck. Lots of new restaurants. Cravings Wine Bar is a good spot. O'Malley's. Lots of locally owned places in Woodbury. And in the Star Tribune, Rick Nelson writes about six new restaurants that have opened all around the area. Maverick's Roast Beef is back in Roseville, reopened by a 29-year-old. Uh, this picture here is the new chef, Andrew Kraft, at Bungalow Club in Minneapolis. That's in Matt's neighborhood. Grand Catch Seafood Spot in St. Paul. Writes about a breakfast lunch spot in Richfield, too. So lots of places to check out, guys. Yeah, it sounds like it, Jason. Thank you.